Hello everybody, my name is Anton. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fine for the Great Wars Canada. Let us continue on from we last left off. So uh, World War One has begun. All the people over here are fighting each other. That's completely okay. Uh, we're currently trying to get uh this small island from France. And then we're just gonna invade Denmark. In fact, we can probably just fight the war now. Uh conquer, and then we want to go for Iceland. So it's like 55 days. But if we invade Denmark, the, the reason I want to invade Denmark is basically so we can have a, um, a foothold in... Just, just someone to launch an invasion of the United Kingdom at some point. We probably want to go to war with Denmark before... I mean, can they, can they join the, um... The required popularity needs to be more than 30%. They need to be at 100%, but they're very democratic. We can't join your faction because you're not aligned. Okay, so I don't know if we invade Denmark if um, if they're going to immediately join the Entente. If they do, that's kind of a problem. Also, do I not have a single submarine yet? No. But I think one submarine should be enough. Like, I, don't, I can't imagine Denmark has. Yeah, they don't have an AV whatsoever. We take over Reykjavik. We take over Iceland. Maybe also take over the Faroe Islands. If they don't join the Entente... That's also going to be... You no, know, actually thinking about it. Do you think they have Reykjavik even defended? I mean, I need to use my submarine. Eventually, I can go over there and I kind of see for myself. But, I mean, if they don't have the Faroe Islands or Iceland defended, then it'd be pretty, pretty good for us. We have 5 to 18 divisions. Got passive defense. After that... You're still capturing the United States. There's nothing I can do about that. We need more civilian factors for you. Cryptology level 1. You know what? Sure. Let, let's go with that for now. Be done in 23 days. Land doctrine research bonus. I mean, getting an alliance with the United with Germany would be really nice. Of course, we still want to go for the alternate 19 or 1812, so the United States will not be allowed to join a faction. We will have a cost of belly against them, which is going to put all their troops on our border, but I really don't think it's going to be a, a huge, huge deal for us. 1914? Yeah, let's go for the 1914 rifles. It'll only be done in 79 days, which is really, really cheap as far as I'm concerned. And our generals, can I upgrade any of you right now? I think the answer is no, unfortunately. But now we can actually navally invade, which is nice. No, we still want that there. But we can get another naval invasion going into the Faroe Islands. And then we should have built a singular submarine. Guess we'll hire a commander. Basically, they're garbage, but you know what else do we expect? So we might actually we not we might not even be able to reach the Faroe Islands, unfortunately. That's okay. Be done. Okay, ten more days on you. We got five infantry that we will deploy to. Guess Orange Army. Let's play half there and half onto uh, yellow. Okay, so let, let's go up here. Do we have anybody in Reykjavik? They do, which is unfortunate. And if we can't actually reach... Actually, we don't need to be here. We do need to be here. If we can't actually reach the Faroe Islands, we might as well try to just invade Iceland like this. I mean, if we get our cost of valley on Iceland, then join the, the central powers, the AI might throw all their troops on defending the actual Danish border. I think that, that, that might make sense. Okay, thank you, France, for giving us the island, mostly so you don't have the ability to navally invade us. That much I uh, do appreciate. You'll be ready in four more days. Oh, so who made decrypting? Decrypting against the United Kingdom. 901 days left on that. A little bit expensive, but that's okay. And we got our cost of value against Iceland. I guess we'll just go for, like, these other people. I mean, what else are we going to spend our um, political power on? Not much, as far as I'm concerned. So let's see. How is the First World War actually doing? 
We're about, about roughly equal casualties right now. United Kingdom hasn't lost too many. I'm assuming Russia's probably taken, yeah, the brunt. But I mean, France also lost, like, quite a bit. And it really depends on if, if who's attacking. If the Russians are attacking the German positions, they're going to be losing a lot of manpower. If the French are attacking Germany positions, they're going to be losing a lot of power that way as well. Yeah, he's going to give us a cost his belly. I mean, right now, you have 27. We have 30 divisions. And there, there's no way, I believe at least, there's, there's no way in which we could possibly win that war with the United States right now. It would be nice if we could. But I just don't believe it's possible. But I mean, it's interesting because we're getting our cost of belly right now. The AI doesn't seem like they're deploying more troops up here, which is kind of what I would be doing if I was the AI. Because there's like no troops on this entire border, which is kind of something that you would expect. And how many do we need? Five, I believe, in order to actually get a... um. An extra agent. So, you know what? Let's go for... It's just an army department. Usually, it's, like, not bad. And keep on only building up more submarines. More submarines, the better. Yeah, we could take Rajivik. Like, I could technically land in these other provinces as well. But that's a little bit risky. We will get, like, a full surround. But, again, the fence on basically all units is very, very high. Uh, in this mod. Okay, after this, let's go for the 1915 support weapons. Can I see what your defensiveness is? No, we don't have enough de information about that, unfortunately. Because, like, we can land in two provinces behind Denmark. That would give us a, um... A surround bonus against them, but, like, what... Like, but it could lead to two of our units just getting murdered very easily, which uh, seems pretty bad if you ask me. And you'll be done in 16 days, a little bit over two weeks. I mean, I'm just like kind of looking at the position. It seems like the um, okay, the Ottomans have joined the war. We have 22,000 rifles, which is pretty good. We don't have a lot of manpower, which is not great. Well, like, what if we have 23,000 st storage, then I feel kind of okay upgrading these. Right now, like, if we outnumber you, I don't, I don't think we do. The thing is, we just don't know how many, we just don't know how many American troops there are. And this, this can't be all of them, Right? War support's got down. Oh, our cost belly expired. Okay. I didn't even know that was an actual thing. I mean, I knew I knew they could expire. I didn't know it actually would give me any debuffs, though. Because you'll be done now. So you're not allowed to join a faction. Like, I'm just, I'm just, like, curious, like, does it, like, we, we can't invade, right? Like, there's no way. Right? Like, they, there's no way. We're sending volunteers to France and the British. I, I'm going to do a, a, a cheeky little save here. Because I'm, I'm, I want to know if we can actually win this. Strike of the Caribbean. We, we could get Colossus Bellies against Cuba, Haiti, and Dominican Republic. Which could then maybe allow us to strike at the United States from, like, the south? But, I mean, that's a little bit strange. So, you know what? No, let, let's... Let's... Oh, I can't do this if I have... Oh, now I can't join... Okay, that, that's fine. We don't need to join the Central Powers. But let's just go to war with the United States. You guys will be as aggressive as possible. You guys will also be as aggressive as possible. Push in. Yellow army will kind of make maneuvers as well. You have very, very high defense, which does scare me. And what about our, na our aircraft? They're still here. Air superiority, strategic bombing. 
How many planes do they got? They have 300 planes. You know what? 300 is more, is more planes than I like to deal with. So put them over here. Let's go some war propaganda. Because for this, we need to be at peace. We need to own all this territory. Like, I can't imagine that the United States... Then they've, they've got to have, like, a lot of units, right? Yeah, because this, this whole line right now is completely filled up. If you want to go take over, like, uh, the Maritimes, I'm fine with that. If you guys want to make your way over here, again, I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, we got some American resistance here. You're going to go straight to uh, Philadelphia. You're going to go straight to New York. You're going to go straight to Baltimore. And one of you is going to go straight to Washington, D.C. Capture all those major cities. And we'll kind of just see how it goes. And yeah, we are facing more American resistance, which is not a huge surprise. I think, actually, if anything, you guys can actually just stop for now. You're taking a little bit of territory, which I think is good. The thing with Canada is that we don't have a lot of manpower. Uh, which is not good. What do we need? You know what? Doubling um, aircraft production makes sense, I, I think. Okay, let's see if we can get a surround on you. Okay, now there's a significantly more American troops. And just, just because of that, I feel like we should probably go back to our autosave. I know we're immediately being cowards, but that's okay. So. Because we've done this, again, we, we can't, we're no longer allowed to join the Central Powers or do any of these other things. We could strike at the Caribbean. Canada's clear, or United Kingdom's clear war on somebody, that's okay. You know what, delete this plan. How many troops do all these guys down here have? Zero, five to 23. Okay, well, you know what? Then we'll try to invade Cuba. Let land straight in Havana. I'm assuming you guys can go down there. You're gonna join the Central Powers. And don't defend those areas. Okay, so the Dervish State has joined the Central Powers. I mean, we could probably join the Central Powers whenever we want to, as soon as we declare a war on the British, for example. But, I mean, it's going to be difficult to ever actually make the maneuvers we need to make. I'm trying to think. Like, if we defend... Like, we defend Ontario. And then do, like, a naval invasion of Florida. Like, kind of secure this little peninsula. How, do, how does that look for us? I think it looks okay. It's gonna be Haiti and the Dominican Republic, but apparently the Ma Haiti and the Dominican Republic have absolutely stupidly large armies, whereas the Cubans don't have an army. But their independence is guaranteed by the U.S. And that that might lead to a problem. So, do you not have range down here? You're too far away. Zero percent efficiency. Oh! Okay, now you're at hundred percent. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's hire you. I guess, let, like, why not try to break this person out of jail then? Because now you don't have enough intel strength. Okay. How long until you're, like, executed? 56 days? We'll see if we can get there. Of course, now the Americans are defending all their positions, which is a little bit scary. At least now we don't have to worry about, um... Alaska. The, the Alaskan front basically doesn't exist anymore. I mean, there's still a... Sh I think, yeah, there's a front line here which we probably need to defend. Because right now we're on... We're still on limited conscription. I would like to go to extensive. Um, we can only do that, though, once we're actually at war. 
And, and the enemy needs to be pretty powerful. And right now, let me just tell you, the, um, the AI, you know, Cuba with their absolutely zero divisions is not actually a major threat to us. Okay, I'll send you up here. Like, do I want to defend, like, against Minnesota as well? The answer is, like, probably not. And if I was to just play War Gold against any of you, it'd be 10 days. Which would basically guarantee our spot in the Entente. Which then would probably have the United... Have Germany be able to help us invade the United States. And because the United States has this focus, they cannot join the Entente, no matter what. Can't create... I mean, we can create a faction ourselves. But I don't think anybody would want to make a faction with us. Non-aligned. I mean, I think they would tell me, basically, if anybody wanted to make a faction with us. And right now, that's not the case. We've got about 20 days left on you. I mean, they've, they've capitulated, um... What's it called? Luxembourg. That's what I think, like... Because we need to, like, invade France and the United Kingdom, basically. In order to actually win the war for Germany and have them help us out. I'm actually doing pretty okay down in Africa. Lane Pacific Islands. You're already in the uh, in the Entente. Jabal Shamir's in the Cairo Pact, which is nice. The AI has thrown significantly more troops on our border, which does scare me. But we we know that because the United States cannot join a faction. We have some more opportunities available to us. Like, I, I do think we want to join the Central Powers pretty quickly. And I, it will help us out in the long run. I will do another cheeky little save. I'm, I'm, I just don't know, will the United States declare war on us? It doesn't say they're potential enemies, so... I'm going to assume the answer is no. And hope for the best. Yes, we're not definitely at war. I can't change any of these plans right now. Yeah, Cuba should fall very fast. Again, it's going to be a nice little foothold for us to launch an invasion to Florida or, you know, Texas. Anywhere down the south, basically. I mean, I could, like, just, just find more and more war goals. Like, what about if we just invade you? 45 days. 40 days. And just essentially try to surround the United States with enemies. Okay, apparently we've interrupted a handful of uh, Cuban convoys. But again, Cuba doesn't have an army. So this is going to be a pretty easy conquest. My submarine. I mean, it's nice that you're sinking all these people. It's not super, super necessary. And my, my other agent also got captured, which is hilarious. Oh no, you're back. Did you get did you get free? Did they free you? Okay, well let's go let's go capture um Cuba has an army now. I never thought that they would come. We get war propaganda. You know what? Yeah, 1% war support is pretty good. Follow that up with, you know, more production into our um into our air force. I mean, you've got to be close, right? Yeah, you're 24%. The elevation from here to here with one of you. And then we'll get our, let's say these two guys. Yeah, you come down here. This should only take, I think, seven days, which is not really so, so bad. And what else do we want to research? We're already getting helmets. You know, it's going to be an entire year, but honestly, more breakthrough for infantry. Pretty good. I, I, like, I like breakthrough. I'm just cu I'm curious about the Haitians. Because they have just a stupidly large army and I don't know why. Like, why do you need so many troops? It's, it's so strange to me that you'd have such a large army. Like, I don't think... You don't even have a commander. Like, I don't think you'll be able to push in. 
Also, I don't know why he sent you to this port when you could just go straight into the city. I guess it doesn't make a big difference when, um... The island is this small. Yeah, so you take the poor province, go to Guantanamo, take over there. We'll uh, annex all of Cuba. And that'll basically be the war uh, resolved. You'll be there in one day, seven hours. They, they, have actually, they actually have an army now. We got a handful of weapons, but really not so much. But with the Canadian annexation of Cuba, I think this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching my answer. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not doing thumbs down. You want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.